Hi guys, today's going to be a video about persisting and the effects of that. So how does your own mindset change? How does it impact your manifestation when you persist, when you're consistent and you're putting in that effort? This is going to help hopefully reassure you guys, tell you and explain to you that you're actually doing everything correctly and the right thing to do is to keep going no matter what the 3D is trying to throw at you. So that's what this video is gonna be all about. Stay tuned and keep watching if you'd like to hear my advice and feedback on this as a coach. Do thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you like this content. If you'd like me to expand on this topic or any other manifestation videos, I'd love to know your requests. And yeah, I would really appreciate that support on my channel. I also offer coaching, so if you do want to get one-on-one -on -one support, you think you're ready for that, or that's something you're considering, you can take a look at my Instagram, which is linked below. It's the LOA coaching one, not my personal page, but my coaching page. There you will find all the information, the prices, the different packages I offer, just everything about my coaching there. You can reach out to me there, or my email will be listed as well. I'll pop something on screen now as well for you to take a quick look at. And yeah, do get in touch if you're interested. And now let's start the video. So when you're persisting, and I'll explain more what this is and isn't as we get into the video, but persisting with manifesting, therefore repeating your affirmations, practicing, you know, the manifestation techniques and mindset methods every single day, just being persistent with it, you are convincing your own mind, which means fewer delays, because if your own mind is being convinced, it's not going to bring up opposing thoughts as much. It's not going to literally oppose your manifestation. It's not going to say, that's not true, but look at this, but look at this text message and look at that. It's going to stop doing that as much because it's going to be convinced. So it's going into the subconscious, but that obviously as well impacts your conscious mind. And it's going to, you know, not bring up those logical, rational memories and thoughts and kind of the negative worries that your mind may usually bring up, it's going to be less, which means fewer delays. Your manifestation is going to unfold a little more easily for you. You're going to have fewer bumps in the road because obviously if your own mind is conforming, you will feel more positive mentally. You won't have those opposing thoughts as much. And yeah, it's just not possible for you to saturate the subconscious, which is where your beliefs are stored and not start to believe it. If you're being persistent, you will start to believe it. It's just the way the mind works and the way the law works. Obviously, you will then also be releasing the old story day by day, moment by moment, with each affirmation you're looping. Yes, this could and most probably is like a 0.01% effect. Every day, every moment, every minute, every hour that you are putting in the effort, it is building up and adding to it. You know, nothing is created in a millisecond in your physical reality going to the gym it takes you know going i know you can manifest the change but i'm saying like to see the full end result even if you only go once a week that's still building up change but it, the end result and the full transformation that you see happens after that time period you know as you're going every day you may not feel it you may not you know, enter the gym and then an hour later as you're leaving, say, oh my gosh, wow, look at those abs. You know, it. yes, you can manifest things, so I'm not saying something's impossible, but in terms of how things unfold, anything in life, even with manifestation, builds up. So it starts with repetition. The repetition is how you're creating the outcome. And with that, releasing the old story from your own mind. You're letting go of it. It's changing day by day, moment by moment. You are starting to accept the new version. You're starting to forget and not think about those old negative memories. It's all coming together. It's also very likely and possible that you'll be experiencing and seeing more physical movement. How this occurs, I've touched on in other videos. I have loads of videos talking about movement and the 3D reality. So take a look at those if you want to see something, something more in depth. But basically, you're going to see most likely physical movement. Now, I don't guarantee you anything because everyone's journey is slightly different. I've had manifestations come in where I only get the full result all in one go, or I get something really surprising and unexpected happening, or it can take months for me sometimes. Like if I'm not super consistent every day, I've had manifestations take months to develop in the 3D reality. If it's something you know I'm not really working on very often, that it can happen that way. So I'm saying what's likely is that you will see more physical movement happening. 
with an SP, for example, because I know that's one of the most popular topics, it would be they might text you, they might follow you on social media, they might come up to you on the street, you might bump into them at a party, you might meet a friend of a friend who mentions them and says something positive. It can happen in so many different ways. It could also be you uh, receiving a positive feedback at work from a job opportunity, having friends tell you something positive that relates to your manifestation. So that is how physical movement could happen. And it's much more likely if you are being persistent every day, if you're being consistent, it's more likely you will experience that. And of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, your conscious mind will be affected. So your conscious thoughts will literally start to align more with your manifestation. You may find yourself automatically either as in the form of a mental diet or just at random, it's not really random, but for you it might come up in your mind randomly that you're repeating your affirmation. You may suddenly just say, I'm perfect in every way. Or something might come up and be like, no, 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 I'm not gonna criticize this. My life is amazing and I get what I want right now. You know, you might just start repeating your affirmations back to yourself. You will have thoughts that align. It doesn't have to be verbatim, but it may be something like, I know that SP is going to message me right now. I just have a feeling that SP is in love with me. It can be things like that. So your conscious mind will conform and start to show you, that is movement by the way, hey look, I'm starting to believe that new story you've been feeding me every day. Th these, my thoughts, our thoughts are aligning with it. Look at these thoughts that are coming up. The automated response without having to consciously, you know, kind of make yourself think that way. That's a sign that you're conforming, you're believing it, it's unfolding, it's happening. So that is the way that persisting will affect literally the way you think day to day. And with that persistence, you're setting up those manifestation practices as a habit. You're convincing and kind of easing your mind into this new thought process. And you're building up a habit which takes usually weeks to a month at least to build up and for it to become natural and almost automated. So by persisting every day, you're teaching your mind, let go of the old negative cycle, stop perpetuating that cycle of, I see something negative, I react negatively, I feel bad, I cry, I think negatively, you know, on and on and on and on. You're letting go of that cycle because you're teaching your mind to think and respond in a different way. So there's obviously psychology behind this, there's quantum physics linked to this, the way our bodies work, neural pathways in our bodies, and just manifestation. The repetition and consistency is how you're setting up your mind to think from the new story, have those conscious thoughts align with what you're creating. And as your subconscious mind is being saturated with this new version, it can't focus on the old story anymore. It's not possible for your mind to bring up the same amount of negative opposing thoughts, the same you know, need for a mental diet, the same worries and doubts. If you are telling yourself, let's say just throw out a random number, a thousand times a day you're saying, SP loves me, I have my dream car, I earn six figures a year. If you're saying that a thousand times a day, let's say, after a couple of weeks, it's not possible for your mind to still nag and nag and nag at you and say, why well, I'm so worried about my finances, I'm so poor, I'm so, it, it can't do that. Your mind cannot tell you that at the same frequency, at the same level. It may not be perfect, so don't expect overnight to just think perfectly and happily, but after a couple of weeks, you know, it's not possible for you the same level of resistance to be there. So that's why persisting every single day, especially starting at the beginning of your journey, is so important because that's how you're teaching your mind to build these new thought habits, thought process, and focus on the new reality that you're creating, bring up those visuals, and let go of the negative version that you've held on to from your memories or from worries and just from conditioning, uh, like the mental conditioning your mind has gone through. It has to start releasing that more and more. Something I personally found for myself and that I do believe is part of this persisting process and the shift in your own mindset is you're gonna be more desensitized to negative 3D events. And I mean, Mainly, I'm speaking in regards to your manifestation. I'm not saying like all world events, anything bad happening in society. Of course, you're probably still gonna have mental emotional reactions to things you care about. Um, you know, yeah, like when I read things in the news, obviously I've been practicing manifestation for years. It doesn't mean I no longer care, like I do react, 
But when it comes to a manifestation for myself as well, I found that when you are so persistent and like literally saturating, hypnotizing your own mind with this new reality, the new, the new, you know, the affirmation basically, that you start to become desensitized. You don't panic as much, you don't spiral. You're not on the verge of spiraling and crying the way you may have been at the beginning, especially with an SP where emotions are involved. You are slightly more desensitized. You're not as emotionally reactive and just reactive in general. You are able to kind of keep yourself calm and balanced and say, no, do you know what? That's the old story or it doesn't matter because I'm manifesting a new version, whatever it may be, you're more likely to think from that mindset, be able to control your reactions and be aware of how you're reacting and what you're seeing. And more quickly as well, if you're putting in the right effort, find yourself applying your mental diet, shifting your focus. I will find when things oppose my manifestation, I will turn off the TV, look away, distract myself, block out whatever's being said and just start looping my affirmations and just not get into a panic. Like it doesn't bother me as much. So I do believe that is part of the process. If you're coming from an old story that is, that has like negative connotations, the, these are the kind of positive reactions you will start to develop. So touching on what I already spoke about a little bit earlier in terms of seeing the physical movement, you will also see birds before land. This can come in the form of dreams. So you are more likely to have vivid, positive dreams about your manifestation or just very clear, concise birds before land. It could be seeing a billboard with your affirmation written on it because that has happened to me. I'm not joking. Like I've seen my verbatim affirmations reflecting back to me, whether people say it to me or I see it like somewhere in like my day to day life. Things like that will occur and not guaranteed, like I said, but if you do get birds before land, it's more likely to be very concise, vivid on a more frequent basis. That is a sign again to keep persisting. You're on the right track and it's something really positive. So I've written down here a few notes about what persisting is and isn't just to clarify for you guys. So you're aware of, you know, because there will be people say, well, it's been two years and I don't have my manifestation. So how can this be true? So when it comes to persisting, it means that you are applying consistency and you are continuing to consciously manifest. So you're putting in the conscious effort when the conscious mind, it means you are bringing up thoughts. You're aware of a thought, even if it's an automated negative one, it's still in your conscious mind. If you're aware of it, it's coming to the conscious mind because subconsciously we don't know what's going on. That's why the repetition is how we control our subconscious mind because we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes in our minds. But consciously, you need to be putting in that effort, taking an action to repeat your affirmation, repeat a visual, apply your mental diet, and you need to be consistent with this. So that's how you persist. Even if it's not every single day, you can have days where you're not okay, where you're not applying the right effort, where you're having a really down day. That's not gonna ruin your manifestation, but it's about applying the effort as consistently as you can, as regularly as you're able to, which more or less will be every single day until you get your desire. And that is what persisting successfully really means, to be consistent and consciously loop and create in your mind the thoughts that reflect your desire. So saying, I have this, this person gives me this, this person feels this towards me. That is what persisting means. And what it isn't is putting in the bare minimum and expecting to see a complete change. So if it's taken you months or years and there has been zero positive change in any way, it's because you're not putting in the effort to oppose the negative beliefs. You're not putting enough repetition in that's gonna oppose what, you know, the current set negative beliefs that you have. You can't say an affirmation five times a day and then let all your thoughts run rampant in your mind unchecked um, and let yourself spiral constantly, be hot and cold up and down, and then expect to see the movement and results come in. You have to persist the way I've just said. So it's about putting in effort every day if you can, throughout the day as many times as you can. 
That is how you persist successfully and get all these amazing results coming in quickly. So I hope this video was useful. My throat is super dry now. I've been talking nonstop for like 15 minutes, but I hope it was useful. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It would mean a lot to me. My voice is going. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.